Have you ever wondered how the International Space Station came to be? This marvel of human ingenuity and international cooperation didn't just appear overnight, it was a dream. An idea that spanned nations and bridged the boundaries of the Earth itself. Our story begins in the late 20th century when the Cold War was beginning to thaw. The United States, Russia, Canada, Japan and the member countries of the European Space Agency put aside their differences to work on a project that was bigger than any one nation. The idea was audacious, ambitious and some might have said impossible. They sought to create a habitable space station orbiting our planet, a home away from home for the betterment of all humankind. The primary objective of the International Space Station, or ISS as it's commonly known, was to establish a laboratory like no other, a place where research could be conducted that simply wasn't possible on Earth. From studying the effects of long-term space travel on the human body, to experimenting with growing plants in microgravity, the possibilities for scientific discovery were, and still are, limitless. But the ISS was not just about science, it was about cooperation and diplomacy too. It was about showing that nations could work together towards a common goal, even in a time of global tension. It was about proving that we as a species could achieve incredible things when we put aside our differences and work together. The creation of the ISS was not without its challenges. There were technical hurdles to overcome, political obstacles to navigate, and financial constraints to consider. But the vision of a space station orbiting our planet, a beacon of science and cooperation in the darkness of space, was too powerful to ignore. And thus, the seeds for the International Space Station were sown, setting the stage for one of the most ambitious projects in human history. Building the International Space Station wasn't like uh, constructing a house, it was a task that posed unique challenges. This colossal project commenced with a vision, a blueprint for a habitat in the void of space. The first hurdle was the obvious one. How do you build something of this magnitude in space? The answer was simple yet complex, modular construction. The ISS was to be built piece by piece, module by module. Each component was designed and constructed on Earth, then launched into space, where they were assembled like a giant cosmic jigsaw puzzle. The first module, Zarya, was launched by Russia in November of 1998. It served as the cornerstone for the space station, supplying power and propulsion until the other modules could be added. Yet, Launching these modules was not without its own set of challenges. Each launch was an intricate ballet of precision and timing, with the potential for catastrophic failure ever present. The risk was not just to the module being launched, but to the entire space station and its crew. Despite these challenges, the station grew. Module by module, piece by piece, what was once a vision became a reality. The Unity module, the first US contribution, was added in December of the same year. Over the course of 13 years, the station expanded to its current size, spanning the area of a five-bedroom house and housing a crew of six. It wasn't just the physical construction that was a challenge, but also the international collaboration. Fifteen nations, each with their own languages, cultures and space agencies, had to work together to make the International Space Station a reality. This achievement was not just about overcoming the technical and logistical challenges, but also about fostering international cooperation in the pursuit of a common goal. The construction of the ISS stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the power of international cooperation. Well, what would it be like to live in space, you may ask? Imagine a life where the sunrise and sunset happen 16 times a day, where you float through your living quarters and your backyard view is the ever-changing panorama of Earth. On the International Space Station, life is anything but ordinary. Astronauts follow a rigorous daily schedule, which mainly involves work, but there's also some time set aside for leisure. Work on the ISS is not your typical 9-to-5 job. It includes conducting scientific experiments that can't be done on Earth, repairing equipment, and even spacewalks for maintenance or testing new technology. But it's not all work and no play. Astronauts also get time to relax and unwind. They can watch movies, read, play musical instruments, and even make video calls to their loved ones back home. Imagine watching your favorite film while floating in zero gravity, or playing a guitar while gazing upon the Earth from 250 miles up. However, living in space is not without challenges. 
The effects of zero gravity on the human body can be taxing. Muscles and bones weaken, and fluids in the body behave differently. To combat this, astronauts spend about two hours each day exercising on specially designed equipment. Meal times on the ISS are also quite different. Since liquids and crumbs can float around and possibly damage equipment, astronauts eat specially prepared food and drink from pouches. But they do get to enjoy a variety of meals and occasionally fresh fruit and vegetables are sent up on supply missions. One of the most unique experiences of life on the ISS is the opportunity to view Earth from space. Astronauts often speak of the profound beauty and fragility of our planet, a sight that never fails to amaze. And then there's the silence. Being in space means being away from the noise of civilization. And astronauts often describe the silence as both eerie and peaceful. Life on the ISS, while challenging, offers experiences that are truly out of this world. Apart from being a fascinating feat of engineering, the ISS is a hub of scientific research. Imagine having a laboratory that orbits the Earth every 90 minutes, where the only constant is change. This is precisely what the International Space Station offers. It's a unique environment that provides the perfect backdrop for a wide array of scientific research, from biology to astronomy. One of the most compelling aspects of the ISS is its microgravity environment. This allows scientists to conduct experiments that simply wouldn't be possible on Earth. For instance, researchers can study the effects of zero gravity on the human body, shedding light on how astronauts' bodies adapt to long-duration spaceflight. This knowledge is crucial for planning future missions to Mars and beyond. But the science of the ISS isn't limited to human biology. The station also serves as an observatory for the Earth and the cosmos. Astronomers use the ISS to study celestial bodies, observing phenomena like gamma-ray bursts, cosmic rays, and dark matter. These observations could potentially unlock the secrets of the universe. Meanwhile, Earth scientists use the station to monitor our planet's climate, weather patterns, and natural disasters. Data collected from the ISS helps us understand and mitigate the effects of climate change contributing to the sustainability of our planet. The ISS is also a testing ground for new technologies. From advanced life support systems to robotic assistance, these innovations are tested in the harsh conditions of space before they're used on future space missions or even adopted for use on Earth. Furthermore, the station is a platform for international cooperation. Scientists from around the world collaborate on research projects, fostering a sense of unity and shared purpose. The ISS truly embodies the spirit of science without borders. The science conducted on the ISS has real-world applications too. It contributes to medical advancements, environmental conservation and technological innovations that improve our daily lives. The ISS is a beacon of scientific discovery, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. It's a testament to human curiosity and our unending quest to explore the unknown. The ISS has been orbiting our planet for more than two decades now. But what does the future hold for this marvel of engineering and science? As we look ahead, the future of the ISS promises to be as dynamic and inspiring as its past. There are plans for potential expansions, ushering in a new era of space exploration and research. The space station could host a wider array of experiments, from studying the effects of long-term space travel on the human body to examining the possibilities of life on other planets. Moreover, the ISS could also serve as a launch pad for future missions to the Moon, Mars and beyond. It has already played a pivotal role in preparing us for these journeys and its importance will only continue to grow as we venture further into the cosmos. But the future is also about endings. Eventually, the ISS will reach the end of its operational life. The decommissioning process, however, is not the end of the story. It's a new chapter, one that involves safely deorbiting the station to ensure that it doesn't pose a danger to other spacecraft or to Earth. And yet, even after the ISS is gone, its influence will endure. The station has been a beacon of international cooperation, a testament to what humanity can achieve when we set aside our differences and work together for a common goal. It has brought nations together, fostered a sense of global community, and inspired countless individuals to dream of a future among the stars. The ISS has also revolutionized our understanding of space and our place within it. The knowledge gained from the experiments conducted aboard the station has had far-reaching impacts. 
influencing everything from medical research to our strategies for long-term space travel. As we gaze at the night sky, the International Space Station reminds us of what we can achieve when we reach for the stars together. This physical manifestation of our curiosity and ambition is more than just a research outpost in the sky. It's a symbol of our potential, a testament to our ingenuity and a beacon lighting the way to our future in space.